here kind of uh, sitting with thunder as he eats. Look at this grass. See this grass in this backyard? Full of yummy grass. Now if you look behind me over here, see how it goes down the hill and it's a lot of brown, not very many, not much, very much green. And of course I had to go chase him down because he's heading down, down the hill looking for green stuff. Even though right where he was is really, really good grass that needs to be, needs to be brought down and I don't really want to mow it because it's really good grass and that's just wasteful when he could eat it rather than me just cutting it off and letting it die. So I was watching him as I rounded him back up, brought him back up here, and I thought, you know, that reminds me of some people I know, a lot of people I've watched. Before New Age, it was religions, as this happened too, but with New Age, it really has happened a lot. But people not feeling good, not happy. So they go out looking for the answer. They look out for that, try to find that green grass out there. And they go find what they think is green grass and they munch on it and it feels so good. And then, for whatever reason, it stops feeling good anymore. Either they have a question of, well, is that all there is? There should be more. For whatever reason, it doesn't work anymore. Usually because they decide it doesn't work anymore. And the next thing you know is they're trashing whatever belief system, whatever leader, whatever concept that they embraced earlier and they go out searching for the next one. The next little lump of grass which they'll chomp on wonderfully for a while and it will feel good and then it won't work anymore and then they'll trash it and move on to the next over and over and over and I've really seen this happen with the new age belief systems. Follow a different teacher, follow a different channeler, follow a different angel, follow a different follow an alien, whatever that they'll be tweaked just a little bit, messages similar, be tweaked a little bit and it won't work for them anymore and they go on to something else. And I think the reason that you, you know, people need to hear this is because if you're one of those people, you need to know that the reason it stopped working isn't because of the belief system or the belief or the channel or the angel or the alien, it's because of you. You chose for it to not work anymore that frequently you you take your impression of whatever their directions are and here here's this new person this feels right here are their directions I'm going to follow these directions and you're excited because it feels right with this new person and you follow the directions and it doesn't work and you go well they are just full of shit they aren't who they said they are at all because I followed them, I believed in them, I did what they said, and I'm still miserable. So it's their fault. So they go to the next one, and the next one. And it can happen, well, they said that if I got, if I went to college and got a good job, that I would be, and it, it didn't work at all. They said if I followed this diet, that this is what would happen, and it didn't work at all. They suck. Their advice doesn't work. And then there gets to after over and over and over again, and then the person goes, eventually they go, well, I must suck because all these other people it works for. This diet works to help those guys lose weight. This God makes these people's lives better. That education brought them joy and happiness. But none of this works for me, so it must be me I suck. Well, the reason why this is never, ever, 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 ever going to work, and it does not matter. See, it'll work or not work. It's totally up to you. For those that it worked with, whether it was the diet, the money, the job, the education, the religious belief, the alien, the otherworldly, underworldly, or whatever, the reason why it worked for those people is because they believed it would. And it did. If you're following belief after belief after belief and it's not working, it's because you are not understanding that the change comes from you. And all of these other people that use the weight and the whatever, whatever, they understood that instinctually. Whether they used the education system or an angel to get to a place where they understood that they controlled 
their lives. They controlled their happiness. It doesn't matter whether or not it's me, an angel, or money. Once the Creator God understands that they have the power to control their happiness, then they obtain happiness. Once they truly believe, if you truly believe in whatever diet it is, if you really believe in it, it will work for you. What happens is it's the 152nd diet that you've had in your life. None of them have worked, so there's an instinctual at the back of your head. Well, this one's not going to work either, and, and guess what? It doesn't. When it comes to the job, instinctually in the back of your head, even though they said, well, if you'd be a doctor or a lawyer, you'd be successful and happy, in the back of your head, you're going, I don't want to be a doctor or a lawyer, so you don't get through school or you're not happy. But it ultimately always comes down to you. You. You're the one that will, whether you, whether you get at it through an education or through religion or through a spiritual belief system or whether or not it's an NDE, whether it's a channeler, whether it's a ghost, whatever, whenever you get to the point and understanding that your happiness is controlled and based on you, you are not only responsible, you are the creator of it. And when you take responsibility for that creation, you can get to that any way you want. Any way you want. Money, angels, whatever. Scuba diving, I don't care. When you understand that the, that the happiness and the creation of what you want comes from you and nothing and no one else, However you get to that realization, I don't care what it is. Drawing circles on the sidewalk with chalk in different colors. If that works, wonderful. But in order to get to the happiness, that's what you have to do. And it does not matter. If you haven't gotten to that point, if you don't get to that point, it doesn't matter how many followers you follow, how many jobs you have, how much money you have, how many friends you have, how many lovers you have. It will not matter because it all comes down to you. You're the one that does the choice making on this. You're the only one that can make you happy. You're the only one that can get you happy. It does not matter. And really, guys, does it matter if you're in 3D, 4D, 5D, or outside the game? It isn't, isn't what you really want is to be happy? So don't worry about whether or not you're going to 4D, 5D, back to 3 whatever. It doesn't matter. If you spend your time Figuring out that you're the one that decides whether or not you're happier in this moment than you were the last, that will get you wherever you want to go, and the rest of it doesn't really matter. Cut to the chase. Don't worry about the rest of it. Save yourself a whole lot of time and money. You control your happiness. Choose to be happy. If you're not happy, nobody else to blame but you. And from my perspective, that just means you've chosen to be unhappy and have that experience. I'm not going to hang with you. I've already done my unhappy time. I already have that experience. Not interested. Enjoy your, your time being unhappy. Neither one of them are right. Neither one of them are wrong. They just both are experience. But if you want to be happier, that's what it's going to come down to. And the why, what, where, when, and how, it's not really relevant. I'm not going to argue with you if you're feeling happy. If you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the Son of God, and He died for your sins, and it makes you happy in this moment, good, good. Now, if it makes you happy to convince me of that fact, you're going to be unhappy. <laughs> but if that makes you happy, good. I'm happy for you. My job is not to make you happy. My job is simply, Ben, I volunteered to tell you why you probably are unhappy and how you can get less unhappy, that it's your choice and how I did it. Now, go do your thing. But ultimately, if you're not happy, it's your, it's your doing. It's your doing. And it doesn't matter how many things you follow, how many things, books you read, as many, how many meditations you do, how mantras you talk, chant, until you understand that your happiness is based on your doing it, and only you, 
and you're going to have the experience of the other thing. So, just a heads up, does it do you any good to walk from away from the nice good grass to the next what looks like good grass to the better grass when the point behind all of it is you're the one that's in charge of it. And if you want to be happier, you can be the one. You are the only one that can make that happen. And however you make that happen is your choice. It's an awesome, awesome setup. All right? Okay, guys. Huge hugs. And I love you so much. Talk to you later. Bye now.